The Atlantic has a report on a topic that uh, we have, I think we've discussed briefly here and there, but never in any depth. And the headline is, self-checkout is a failed experiment. Reading now says, when self-checkout kiosks began to pop up in uh, American grocery stores, the sales pitch to shoppers was impressive. Scan your stuff, plunk it in a bag, and you're done. Long checkout lines would disappear. Weights would dwindle. Small talk with cashiers would be a thing of the past. Need help? Store associates, freed from the drudgery of scanning barcodes, would be close at hand to answer your questions. You know how this process actually goes by now, though. You still have to wait in line. The checkout uh, kiosk would bleat and flash when you fail to set a purchase down in the right spot. Scanning those items is sometimes a crapshoot. Wave a barcode too vigorously in front of an uncooperative machine, and suddenly you've scanned it two or three times. Then you need to locate the unusually lone, uh, lone, uh, the usually lone employee charged with supervising all of the finicky kiosks, who will radiate exasperation at you while scanning her ID badge and tapping the kiosk touchscreen from pure muscle memory. If you want to buy something that even might carry some kind of arbitrary purchase restriction, well, maybe don't do that. All is not rosy in the world of self checkout, and some companies seem to realize it. Okay, and then it goes on to explain how um, the great self checkout experiment of the last few years is failing and companies are turning back from it. So, and, and, so, so, and that, that brings up the question of the, of the self-checkout. And is, is it a net positive uh, or a net negative? And there are kind of two schools of thought on the self-checkout question. And one school of thought says, listen, uh, I'm not an employee at this Kroger. I don't have a name tag and a uniform. Nobody's paying me $11 an hour to operate one of these machines. Uh, you can't expect me to do this job. Um, I want a cashier to handle this, just like they did in the old days. Self-checkout is demeaning, you could argue. It's also unpaid labor. Um, why should I have to do that? And I understand that argument. In fact, I, I worked the cash register at a grocery store for uh, myself for like two weeks when I was 14 years old. And quickly, they decided to kick me out to the parking lot to put shopping carts away when they realized I was not the kind of person they wanted to have interacting with customers uh, that closely on a day-to-day -day basis. But I remember that brief experience with the cash register, and there's a part of me that every time I'm in self-checkout, I, yeah, I say, like, what the hell? Why am I back to doing this again? So that I get. But on the other hand, the other school of thought says, hey, self-checkout is uh, it's a godsend. It's quicker. It's easier. I don't have to interact with anybody. I don't have to talk to anyone. I can pay for my stuff, and I can go. And I understand that argument, too. So, And this is, what it's, this is why it's such an interesting um, dilemma, because for me, it, it kind of pits my laziness against my antisocialness. And those two things are in conflict. And, and usually those two things work together, lazy and antisocial. You know, that can guide you in one direction or another. Not always the best direction, but it will guide you. And this, in this case, it's, they're, they're pulling against each other. And it's very interesting. Ultimately, though, I think um, antisocial should win by all rights. And self-checkout is still preferable. The problem, though, as always... And this is the case with most things in life. Uh, the problem is everybody else in the grocery store. I do like self-checkout because it's fast and easy and convenient. But these days, everyone uses self-checkout also. So you end up waiting in line behind a row of people who all have like 100 items in their cart. And they, for some reason, take a minute per item to scan it, another 15 minutes to put it in a bag. Uh, you got people, I was waiting in line behind someone the other day. That was like they were putting each item in its own bag. And I'm not much of an environmentalist, by the way, but even I'm sitting there like, this is a lot of plastic that we're wasting here. This is not good. I mean, even I was starting to feel bad for the sea turtles or whatever. And uh, you end up waiting what there while this whole line of people buys enough food to feed a stadium. And they're all totally perplexed by the machine. So like, everyone uses the machine now, but everyone is, is, most people anyway, are still perplexed by it. They don't know how to use it. And, um, and then, and then you know, it takes 45 minutes. And then they get to, like, the green pepper, and they have to actually, you know, now there's, like, a produce. You have to type it in. And then it, this is very, very confusing for people when they end up with the produce and the green pepper. They don't know what to do with it. And that, take, and that takes them an hour to figure out. So the whole self-checkout thing, I think, starts to fall apart because of the general stupidity and incompetence of everyone who is not me. And so here's what I propose then. Here's what, so this is finally my solution. Um, I think if we had a special self-checkout lane at every store, like a pre-check system for self-checkout, for those who have proved that they can scan 
let's say, 20 items. If you can scan and pay for 20 items in less than three minutes, then you get to go to a special lane, and that's going to be the fastest lane of all. That's my solution. Maybe you get a, um, how do you know who gets in that lane? Maybe you get a special badge that says that. Maybe you get a name tag. Maybe you get a uniform. I mean, really, you're just an employee now, so I guess we're back to that. But that's my solution. I don't know. Doing my best. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Walsh Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.